Hi, Bentinho. Uh, I would love if you could uh, clarify the higher self to me. The higher self? Yeah. Uh, because I feel that um, I feel that right now I, I'm I'm liking trying to uh, um, to find my higher self into my experience, into my experiences, trying to find something that uh, I already am. But um, I think I got so uh, so much mixed ideas about it. And um, when I'm um, when I'm just aware, I think I'm I'm missing this part of myself. Like um, I think when I rest as awareness, I'm I'm just rest resting in this um, level, and um, I don't integrate the simultaneously higher self because I think I don't quite understand it very well. So I think I I put it in time instead of uh, uh, connect it more simultaneously. So I don't know if I got clear, but I would love if you... But what is, uh, what's your desire? Why would you want to connect to your higher self? Um, I, f I feel that I, I created such a um, intense experiences for my incarnation, mm -hmm. uh, mentally and emotionally, spiritually, and um, out of my own higher self's free will to experience that, to learn from that. Um, but it was so intense so far that I, I feel that I I got so identified with my personality that I it's kind of I, I lost myself in who I really am in essence so sometimes I I I hear you saying about connecting to to God and I had some amazing experiences uh, through your guidance um, but I think I, I'm missing this um, this portion of myself. Like uh, I got used to uh, to see it um, maybe in a in a distorted way. So, what you're describing sounds like you want to change your experience to a different experience. Yeah, uh, the thing that I I most want is to is to leave my calling. Uh, uh, in the best of my ability. Um, so then why why the conceptual route of trying to connect to your higher self? Um, why would you need that in order to live your calling? When, why would you need to know a description for me about what the higher self is and then maybe some method to connect to that which I describe that it is if your desire is to live your calling. I, f I feel that um, I got so uh, so many ideas about it uh, inside of me and uh, I think uh, with your uh, direct explanation. So you, you want more ideas? Sorry? So you want more ideas? Not ideas, but a reflection. Okay. Because, um, yeah, a reflection. Yeah. So, I would suggest that you replace the need for a change in experience with conviction, with conviction, a deeper conviction in your true self. And the way that usually translates into the human mind is all is well, or I am perfect, or things are happening exactly as they need to happen.
or I am free even if I don't have a feeling of freedom. To basically to have faith in God. We always want to see God. We always want to feel God. We always want to have an experience of God. But that keeps us seeking often in unproductive ways, especially if you have a lot of ideas already. And then we try to avoid certain experiences and we try to create other experiences in different ways. Whereas if we accept our experience as it is, and we just deepen our faith, our conviction that we don't need this to change because we up our faith about the perfection of it as it is. Do you see that difference? One keeps you bound to the seeking between your ideas and da 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 da. The other settles the whole thing, it's calms more, it down. It's more formless. It's more formless, beautiful. And it's it's almost like you, one way to describe it is it comes more from the background. Like you're trusting more in the background and you're making less of a fuss. You're having less of an opinion, less of your own ideas about what's appearing in the foreground. You just have faith in the background so that what appears in the foreground, including your own ideas, can move through with less and less problem and grasping and seeking and identification. Because of the faith. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I would suggest that for everyone, and I would suggest that for you also specifically, because of having many ideas about it already that keep you struggling between intense experiences. Have, so have you many ideas about? Well, you, you shared that you have many ideas about this. About the higher self, yeah. Yeah. So, but the ideas are not going to get you very far into yeah. what you actually want. Whereas, if you deepen your faith, your conviction, what happens to your experience? What happens to the foreground of all the sensations and the thoughts? When you just take a deep breath, and you choose to deepen your faith, your conviction, in freedom, in God, in oneness, in the perfection of all that is, in that the true self is somehow already here, what happens to your sensory experience? I, f I think it, it will reflect that uh, conviction. Yeah, so, and how would you describe that? What do you notice, for example, in your body? When you're struggling to seek between ideas versus when you're letting them be and you choose to have faith in the background, the source of it all without trying to know it, without trying to get there, without trying to experience it, just the conviction that it's there. Um, what happens to the stuff in your experience field? What do you notice? What subtle shift? Relaxation. There you go. And when you're relaxed, does not more of your home frequency naturally shine through? Yeah. And are you then not naturally living your calling by being more of it, by being more allowing of it? Yeah. You see, your calling is not something that you do. It's what you already are. The more you collapse around the objects in your field of vision, the more you grasp, the more you try to change your experience, the less receptive, the less of a channel, the less receptive you're gonna be to that innate love and light of the Creator. That will come through. You don't need to know your calling. You don't even need to know your calling in order to be your calling, to live your calling. Can, can I add something yep. in that? Um, because I, um, I got used it to, um, to live in an automatic, uh, uh, automatic state of mind, like thoughts happening. And uh, as I uh, as I connected more to to you and your your work, um, I I had this uh, realization that uh, I need to create something else for me. Um, 
it's my it's my responsibility doing that. Um, but I think uh, I created this amazing experience for being here uh, in this retreat with you, with all of you. Uh, but it was like so uh, so. Uh, I was creating that, but out of like. Uh, I was just creating, trying to to match something, you know, like trying trying to match the frequency that I'm in a way now, but uh, I I didn't know how to express my my higher self through to thought to uh, through thought thought uh, because it got so like just uh, a, f a fearful thoughts and conditioning thoughts that I would like. Uh, I felt that the 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 way for me to shape my experiences, uh, it was uh, connecting, but uh, bringing more this active uh, creation through mind, shaping my body, my my experience, uh, uh, trying to diminish the the uh, the difference between who I am now and my higher self. But uh, who you think you are now and who you already are now. The difference between who you think you are now and who you already are now. Not between you and your higher self. Sorry, could you, could you explain? Yeah, it's not about diminishing the vibrational difference between who you are and your higher self. It's about diminishing the vibrational difference between what you think you are and what you already are. Cool, uh, I got this. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. And you want to know how to express your higher self? Yeah. Uh, it's Re relaxation. Okay, I need that. Letting go. But, uh, but did you hear that? Sorry? Did you hear that? Yeah, relaxation. Yes. Which but is the result of? Faith, yes. Conviction, yes. But like like that, uh, if I'm in a state of really tenseful, like contracted through yes. my conditions, yes, doesn't um, matter. I, I uh, what I have been uh, have what I have seen is that um, if I just okay, I'm I'm contracted. I'm you know feeling like a piece of shit. Like, and uh, if I just keep if I oh I'm gonna relax like. It's uh, it's like it's so uncomfortable that uh, the way that I I was able for relaxing more it's to become more more actively like uh, imagining things that I I want to express but um, I don't know what I want to express you know like I'm so so it I got to, I I got it's I, I, I it's more formless it's not. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I'm chasing something in my mind. Nice. But um, uh, I think the, the expressions w will come uh, through this uh, through this connection, through this faith. Yes. Naturally. I Thank don't have you. to worry about it. Yeah? Exactly. <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.